Okay. Now we're going to say if this set V1 through Vn is a basis of a vector space V, and W1 through Wm is also a basis of V, then N, M has to equal N. In other words, every basis of V has the same number of vectors. Okay? Now, geometrically, you can make sense of that in R3. Okay? In R3, vectors are linearly independent if they're not parallel. Okay? And it takes three of them to span R3. And as we just saw, at least with the example, if you have a fourth vector, the set isn't linearly independent anymore. So you can kind of conclude intuitively that any basis of R3 has to have three vectors. If you've only got two, you're only spanning a plane, you can't span the whole space. But in, in general, for any vector space, and not just a Euclidean space R3, okay? okay? Um, this has to be so, by the definition of linear, linear independence. So let's see how we prove this, okay? Since this is a basis, each of these vectors is a linear combination of the V1 through Vm. equals A11 V1 plus A12 V2 all the way up through A1N Vm. I can call these constants anything I want to, so I'm going to call them A11 through A1N. Naturally, you understand that's going to correspond to a row of a matrix. Okay? If we choose to use matrix. Okay? And that's true. the way down through WM. I'm not sure I want to use C or I might have wanted to use D, but I'm going to stick with C. So, C1 through W1 plus C up through CMWM, a linear combination, a linear combination of the W vectors equals zero.
means what? It means C11 times A11 V1 plus C1 times A12 V2 and so forth. Then plus C2 times all the A121 through A2N WM, A2M, A2N, VN, and so forth. So this linear combination of all these vectors equals zero vector, right? Okay. Um, So I can write this gets a little long, but okay, C one A one one, because C one's going to multiply W one, and then C2 is going to multiply W2, which is A21, V1 plus and so forth, right? So I can say plus C2, A21, and then that's times V1, right? This should be A12. No, it just A21. This should be AM1. I had a pattern of symbols in my head that correspond to reality. Often happens. Okay, and then. And this should be A12, not A21. Obviously, okay. C2W2. Okay? No, that is A21. In that case, uh, now wait a minute. A, if there be 1, 2, then that would be. Well, W2 is going to be A21, V1, and so forth, right? It's going to go down to A, M, 1, okay? And that'll be what you get when you multiply C, 1, C, M times W, M. So I'm multiplying the C, 1, then the C, 2, C, 3, okay? So I'm not writing it down for that. So we get, we've got to be careful. C, 2, W, 2, right? Okay? C1, W1 is going to be C1 times this. And C2, W2 is going to give you C2 times this. Okay? And C2, and CM times WM is going to give you CM times this, right? So that's going to be the 1, 1, 2, 1 up down through the M1. That's going to be multiplied by the C1, C2, C3, up to CM. Okay? So, let's get this straight. So, if you're going to do A12, you're going to go down to AM2, right? Okay. So multiplying C1 times W1 gives you C1A21. And it's A12, like I said. If this is going to be what you multiply by V2. Okay. 
So the coefficient of V2 is going to be the sum of these coefficients A12 through AL2. Okay, so it'll be A12 plus C2 A. Two, two. Let up to CM A M two. Okay. And then it's going to be C one times A one M plus C two times A two M. plus CM times AMM VM. Notation together. Yeah, I, I want to express these coefficients as a matrix product, as the elements of a matrix product. Okay? Um, so, anyhow, you get this. Now, that can only happen if all these coefficients are zero. Since these are multiples of the V1 through Vn. Okay, so I'm going to say this equals, I should have used these here instead of six, that's okay. This equals D1, V1, where D1 is this whole thing, D2 is this whole thing, and so forth. And that equals zero. if all these dn's are zero. D1 equals D2 up through dn equals zero. Okay? Which then means that all these coefficients are zero. Which means So I get to the matrix product, A11, we're going to get multiplied by this equals zero back again. Okay? Okay, the thing problem with this, I'm going to let you think about this, is unless m equals n, I can't be. Okay? So we conclude that n has to equal m. So, think it through. Okay? 
think through why that might be so.